Okay, um, one major advantage of uh, the uh, new iPhone 4 is that you can um, take the iPad uh, little connector dongle that you can buy at the Apple Store and uh, connects the iPad to a projector or a monitor um, and the iPhone 4 works with it. Um, you take this, hook it up to normal VGA connection as we did here and take the other end, hook it into your iPhone 4 and uh, I'll turn this on and here we've got our iPhone 4. I'm not sure how well you can see that might be a little in focus, but um, uh, if we uh, go to uh, our photos, any this works with any video or a moving photo. Um, and as you can see, this photo I recorded earlier is displaying on my monitor. Um, any any moving um, any moving video that uh, that you see can uh, shows up on there. So. Um, let me hit pause here. Um, I can go, let me go to this other video I recorded. Um, the play in there, uh, you've got that video. Um, pause this, go back. Um, I can do pictures, but the picture has to be in a slideshow. So um, if I take it to the picture, as you can see, it's not showing the picture, but if I uh, hit play for the slideshow, it does show on uh, on there. And of course, I've got movies in here too, so it's going right, to a movie. In my car. Um, it works with YouTube videos. It works with um, basically any moving uh, video content um, on the uh, the iPhone. I cannot get it to work with the um, uh, with the web. Um, and because there's no Keynote uh, application for displaying full Keynote videos, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure if, if there's any way of getting uh, slideshows to work uh, like, like you do on the iPad. Uh, but it does work with video and it works with uh, slideshows. Um, if you need a nice simple solution to uh, take a video that's on your iPhone and uh, put it onto uh, a projected screen, um, you don't need the full form factor of the iPad to do so. Um, need a bigger screen on your iPhone? All you need is uh, is the little uh, dongle that uh, you can buy at the Apple Store. Connect it to your iPhone, and basically press play. So that's it. Um, I'm Jesse Stay, StayingAlive.com.